Hi, you are watching a demonstration of MV Proctor, the remote proctoring solution for your test today with the California Department of Motor Vehicles. MVP verifies the identity of test takers and deters possible cheating. In this demo, we will show you what you can expect and what is expected of you during the taking of your remotely proctored driver's license or learner's permit test. Begin by logging into your DMV account using the access link you received via email from the DMV. Click the link and you will be directed to the MV Proctor landing page. Click the center button on the MV Proctor landing page to log in to your DMV online services account. You will receive a verification code either by text or phone call to ensure the security of your account. Enter the verification code to confirm your phone number before proceeding to the next step. Next, you will be prompted to download the MVP plugin for Google Chrome. It is important that you only use the Chrome browser for your DMV test. Click the Download California DMV Online Proctor Chrome Plugin button to be taken to the Chrome Store to download your plugin. Once on the MV Proctor page at the Chrome Store, click Add to Chrome to install the plugin on your browser. After the MVP plugin has been successfully added to your Chrome browser, you will be returned to the MVP DMV plugin page. Here is where MV Proctor will connect with your plugin in order to move to the next step of the process. Click Refresh the page if the screen does not automatically move forward in a few seconds. Next, you arrive at the MV Proctor How It Works instruction screen, describing the steps of the Proctor testing process, guidelines for a proper test environment, and guidelines for what is allowed and what is not allowed during the taking of your test. Click through the screens and carefully review all of the rules. Click Go to Test. This step is the agreement to policies. Here, you can access our privacy policy and terms of service. Click I agree. After a quick check of your browser permissions and settings, if you receive a pop-up message asking you to grant microphone and camera access to MV Proctor, it is important that you click Allow to proceed with your Proctor test. The next step is to submit your facial verification scan. Align your face with the outline on the screen and click Scan to begin the scan. Once your scan is captured to your satisfaction, please click Upload Scan to submit. The next step is the ID verification scan. Please align your approved ID with the outline of the screen. Please be sure that the text is readable and that your picture is clearly visible within the defined area. Click Scan. Once your scan is captured to your satisfaction, please click Upload Scan to submit. On the next page, a video monitor window will appear showing you your camera feed. And this page illustrates the instructions for the next three steps you must take to share your screen. Clicking the screen thumbnail in the Chrome screen sharing pop-up, clicking the share button, and then finally clicking on start proctoring at the bottom right of the screen. When you click next, the screen sharing page and pop-up will appear. Follow the three steps. First, click the thumbnail, then click share, and finally click start proctoring. Prior to the start of your test, you will be prompted to close all extra tabs or they will be automatically closed after 15 seconds. Please wait while extra tabs are closed and while you are connected to the test menu. Here you will be forwarded to the DMV Automated Knowledge Testing Expansion menu. Please select your preferred language. Before the test begins, you will be given instructions about how to submit your answers to the test questions. Please read all instructions carefully, clicking the Next button to move to the next screen. After the instructions are complete, you may view a sample question to further prepare or enter your test and begin answering questions. Answer your questions fully and completely without leaving the terminal or focusing on anything beyond your questions during the exam session. Remember that such behaviors as speaking to someone off camera, looking at or using your cell phone, leaving the session, or having anyone else enter the video frame could contribute to a failure of the proctored session and possible delays in receiving your license.
Once all questions have been answered, you will reach the congratulations screen, indicating that your final results will be emailed to you within a few hours of your test. Click continue to end the test. Your test window will exit full screen mode and then close automatically. If your browser does not close the proctoring session automatically, please click End Proctoring on the Video Monitor window to end your session. Please wait to allow your session data to be uploaded to our secure servers for processing. Click OK once the data upload is complete. Congratulations on completing your California DMV proctored exam. Now that your test is complete, the final step in the process is to uninstall the MV Proctor plugin immediately after your successful test completion. Please click the Uninstall Chrome Plugin button to be redirected back to the Chrome Store. Click Remove from Chrome to uninstall the plugin, and once the plugin has been removed, you may close the Chrome Store tab. We welcome you to take our two minute survey to tell us about your Proctor test experience, and finally, please check your email for final results from the DMV. Good luck, and thank you for using MV Proctor for your California Department of Motor Vehicles test.